Hello, welcome to another video of CS106A, Assignment 4, uh, Hangman, Milestone 3. And this will cover the whole entire uh, Hangman Lexicon class, and we'll be going over that uh, solution here and talk about why we do certain things. So what we're going to do here <coughs> is realize a couple things. When I open my Assignment 4, uh, we have something called the Shorter Lexicon, which has this number of words and the hangman lexicon. Now the purpose of having those two is so that you can test your solution with the shorter lexicon first and then easily just switch into that uh, hangman lexicon the large size. So here what we have is we're going to re-implement the get word count in the get word and use our new, new we'll use a new algorithm that will incorporate these two uh, text files with all these other words in it. So the first thing that we need to do <coughs> is here, in order to read a text file, we're going to use something called a buffered reader. I'll show you how to implement that. But before you do that, you need to import some packages. So you need the Java I.O. so that you can do the buffered reader. And then you also need to implement also the Java util okay, to make this work. Now, <coughs> if you're going to use a buffered reader, you need a place to put all the words into. The easiest uh, place to put a list of stuff into would be an array list. So, okay. So here, uh, at the very, very top, we're going to put in our own <coughs> private array list. So array list uh, of strings, because there are strings, right? Then um, we'll call this string the uh, hangman list, uh, word list. Okay. And to construct it, we'll call it the new array list string like that. Okay, that's how you construct the array list for that. Next thing you want to do <coughs> is uh, put also um, create something called. Uh, in, well, we need to create an instance of being able to call this um, class of Hangman. So if we want to call this class of Hangman in Hangman. Uh, the class here, then what we need to do is we need to also create something called public. You see, they tell you what you need to put in uh, for your hangman lexicon class right here. You need to create a public class hangman lexicon. Uh, I'm sorry, not public class, uh, public hangman lexicon. And then you're going to initialize your code for doing the uh, buffered reader in this public hangman lexicon so that when you call an instance of this class, in your hangman class, uh, it, that's the first thing it's going to do. So <coughs> here, public uh, hangman lexicon, like that. And then we're going to construct the buffered reader. And if you remember from our last video, our previous video, uh, back I think it was assignment 2, or yeah, assignment 2, uh, we did try. Okay. And then the first thing you want to do is call the buffered reader and then give the buffered reader a name. So let's call it the <coughs> B reader. Okay. Um, equals to new buffered reader. And then we're going to go ahead and, and what we're going to do is complete this. Uh, we're going to be reading from a file. So we need new file reader. And then the name of the file. And the name of the file we're going to use is the shorter lexicon because we got to test this, test this little guy to make sure it actually works. Okay. Uh, after you call the buffered reader, then we need to be able to create a while loop to read each line. So while we say true, okay, and then we're going to break it later to make it work. Uh, we want to create a string of the line that's being read. Okay. So the line that's being read <coughs> in the B reader dot read line, okay, and that's going to put that line into the string called line. <coughs> and what do you know? Well, if that line happens to be null, <coughs> then we're going to break. I know it's one line, and you don't need those uh, curly brackets, but uh, um, I just do it sometimes. Next, <coughs> after that, we want to put that line into the array list. So we want to take hangman word list 
and then <coughs> we want to add it. So add that line called string. Uh, uh, add that uh, string called line. And then the next thing you want to do is once it's done going through this and it breaks out, you want to make sure you close the reader. Always close it, okay? So that means that you're done with it. Now, when you try something, you need to always follow up with a catch. Catch if there if there's a, if there's an actual error somewhere. So we want to catch an I/O exception. <clears throat> and when we do, we want to get, then go ahead and throw a new error exception. We do this because we want to uh, have the program uh, run, allow it to keep running without just creating this uh, error message and stop you from actually progressing in the application just because it didn't read the file correctly. So uh, you throw a new error exception and that will allow you to run the program and then uh, be able to keep running it without having it cause a break in the middle. And then once you're done with that, then <coughs> we finished our reading of the file. Okay. Now when you read the file, uh, it's, of course it's going to be from the array list, so the get word count's not going to be 10 anymore. Get word count will be the size of the array list. So you want to do hangman word list dot size, <coughs> and it'll give you the size of that array list. And the get word will also be different. So here, to get something, um, <coughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to return a hangman word list dot get value of whatever the index is like that okay so it simplifies a lot and it allows you to allows you to use a larger list of words not just the 10 but a list of words that's much larger than that um, okay <coughs> the next thing you need to do is you need to create the instance of that um, hangman lexicon and to do that <coughs> Actually, uh, actually, you know, looking back at what I just coded here, uh, creating that public hangman lexicon, um, <clears throat> everything is encapsulated here, so we really don't need to change anything. Everything should work the way it normally would be because we didn't uh, do anything. Uh, we didn't really manipulate the program to affect the hangman lexicon itself. So, what this means is that when you run the program, <coughs> it should now run it with that new list of the shorter words. Okay, so now this is going to be more of a challenge. So let's take a look. I, R, E, T, S, D, wow, P, I'm failing. Uh, U, no, O, I just lost. Elegiac, wow. Well, I had no idea. But anyways, <coughs> yes, now that whole shorter lexicon is being used appropriately. So now, instead of having to run the shorter lexicon, let's go ahead and use the main lexicon, the hangman lexicon, and everything should work perfectly normal. So let's go ahead and quickly run it, just to make sure. Okay, I, E, O, what, <laughs> uh, T, N, uh, C. <coughs> um, M. R. D. Wow. N O. E. T. O. R. T. Y. <coughs> P. Oh God, I'm really not getting this am I? Uh, A. I just inositol. Wow, I don't even know that word either. Well, anyways, <coughs> there you go. That's the full implementation of Hangman and the end of Milestone 3. I hope you like this video, and uh, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And I hope to uh, produce more videos for you guys to help you out, uh, ask questions, and yeah, let me know what you really want so I can make it for you guys. Again, uh, thanks a lot. Bye.